all right what's up guys and welcome back to the channel so today we will be detailing the car and uh installing the brake light for the trunk obviously mine's a little jank and you'll see the setup in a few but we guys are gonna replace that and detail the car and try to fix the hood today so let's get started okay so we just got back from washing the car before we start detailing it so first thing we're about to do is just clay bar the whole car down get all the contaminants off and then um, this is not a permanent solution at all it's very temporary but we're gonna wet sand the hood and try to polish uh, it up to get so hopefully bring it back to life just a little bit just a little longer before I get you know an actual hood for it so um, we gotta do that and right now we're about to change out the third brake light on the trunk because that one's a little hella jank you know so do that so here's a look at it right now before the detail a little before all right guys so we're about to change the third brake light first this is the uh replacement one i have got off amazon uh it's pretty cheap better than paying you know hundred something dollars for it and i heard it works good the only thing is with this amazon one use your oem um gasket because the one that it comes with is pretty jank so yeah so in order to get to that the brake light that's underneath here you take out all these clips so go ahead and do that right now All right, now that we have all those off, let's check this out. This is my jank setup. Got hella tape just holding it up. But it's just plug and play. You just unplug this right here, take out these two bolts, and put the other one in. So all you do is just unplug this. Take off the nuts on each side, and it just comes right out. As you can see, mine broke. That's why I need to get a new one. So what we're gonna do is just take this gasket and put it on the other one, if I can get it off. And it's just save the gasket off the OEM one. So we're gonna just put this in. It just lines up with these little grooves. So you're just gonna line those up, put it in there. Put all this back. Let's do the same thing in reverse. All right, so right now we're about to just tape off the edges of the car. Before we start wet sanding, make sure to cover up all the vents too. And uh, just don't up the windshield uh, water shit. Anyways, yeah, so we're gonna tape that up, wet sand it, and come back, dry it off with some water and alcohol mix, and then wet sand it and buff it, polish it, wax it, and hopefully, it comes out good like i said this is not a permanent fix this is very very temporary but anything is better than it looking like this right now so let's get to it as i prep the sides real quick i realized that we still have to clay bar the car so we're gonna pause this real quick and go ahead and clay bar the whole car and get back so let's go ahead and do that want to give a quick shout out to jay aka low dollar decals 
Chris is at right here. Go ahead and follow his Instagram and he does a whole bunch of stuff. So if you are interested, go ahead and uh, send him a DM. All right guys, so we went ahead and clay barred the whole car. Just from the clay bar alone, it looks better. If you can tell and definitely feel the difference, way smoother now all across. So now we're about to go ahead and wet sand the hood and start to polish and wax. All right, we have our 1000 grit and our water. So we're always gonna make sure this stays wet as we go ahead and just sand off all the rest of the remaining clear coat. I right, guys, so I only had a thousand and fifteen hundred and it wasn't strong enough or rough enough to get all the clear cut off. So this is what we're left with. So obviously we're gonna have to end up redoing it, but for now we're just gonna go ahead and continue as we're gonna do it anyways. And then at another time we'll just go ahead and do it if we don't have the hood already. So right now we're about to use the compound all across the car and then we're gonna go ahead and use polish and then wax and see how it turns out. All right, so we're almost done now. We're just waxing everything, the last coat. So once everything's all waxed up, we're gonna go ahead and just show how everything looks. It came out pretty good. So uh, we'll catch back up in a second. All right, guys, it's all finished. Looks pretty damn good from what it was anyways. And obviously I did it all by hand, so it's not gonna be super perfect or anything, but pretty damn good definitely brought out the color a little bit more for sure see the damn sky so yes obviously I was trying to save the hood when there was ready the clear coat was already gone so really that was just we should have just scrapped that but this is what it looks like for now but new hood on the way so stay tuned we finished waxing the car these are the products that i used today i got these at AutoZone for like maybe they're like under like 40 dollars for sure um again new hood on the way but other than that the results are pretty good and i did do everything by hand so next time new hood and stay tuned for the calibers getting repainted and the windows getting tinted and possibly some beadline headlights. <laughs>